Hey everybody, welcome to the next installment of Make It Monday with Paper Tray Ink. I'm Betsy Veldman and today I'm going to be sharing a technique with you for multicolored stamping using ink refills. Um, the similar look can be achieved using markers, but I don't own a good set of markers besides my Copics, so one day I decided to experiment and see if I could come up with a similar solution using products that I already have on hand. Um, what I came up with is using ink refills along with some craft foam to make my own custom ink pads. It actually turned out pretty good and it's pretty fun and I think it's actually a little quicker than using markers to color your stamps to do multicolored stamping. So in this video I'll be showing you how to create the stamped floral background on this card as well as the focal point image. So let's get started. So here's the card that we're going to make, and like I said, we're going to create our own custom ink pads using craft foam and the ink refills. Now I'm using the new formula of Paper Tray ink, inks. It's The ink on the new formula is a little bit thicker and it works a little better for this um, technique. I'm just going to trim a small piece of craft foam. This is just plain white craft foam you can pick up anywhere. Alright, now I'm going to take a little flower stamp from Tag It's Five. It has three little flowers and three leaves. And I'm going to stamp it onto my craft foam using Smoky Shadow ink. Now this stamped image is going to be the guide that I'm going to use to add my color with my ink refills. I'm going to start off with Simply Chartreuse. And I'm almost going to do a paint by number kind of technique and I'm just going to go ahead and color the leaves with my Simply Chartreuse ink refill. Don't worry about having to stay within the lines. You actually want to let that ink go beyond the image a little bit to make sure that you get a good coverage when you're um, applying your stamp to the ink. Now I'm using Pure Poppy and I'm going to color one of the flowers. And I'm going to do the same thing with a little lemon tart. Now you're not going to get a real precise, exact um, image with this technique. You almost think of it as more of a watercolor look. I, I liked the results of it. It was just kind of a soft, like I said, just a kind of a watercolor look. Now I'm taking my spring rain ink and I'm going ahead and coloring that third flower. Now there's quite a bit of ink on there and I'm going to take a paper towel and just carefully blot off some of that excess ink. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to align my flowers with the, the blotches of ink that I put onto my foam and it's just going to act as an ink pad and I'm going to stamp it onto a piece of scrap paper a couple times just to make sure that I'm getting a good image and if I need to add some ink in any places that I missed, I can do that now. I'll see that when I just stamp it onto my scrap paper. But it looks pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and start on my project. I have a piece of vintage cream cardstock. It's two and a half by three and three quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp this and fill up my background. Now, with if you were going to do the same technique with markers, every time you stamped, you would have to color your image with the markers, but I did it with my ink, my refills, just once, and I can get a lot of images off of that one time of coloring it with my ink refills. Now, as I'm stamping, it is going to get lighter, and I'm going to probably make it about halfway through my background here before I'm going to have to add a little more ink and re-ink those flowers and leaves to get a good impression again. This is going to be my last one here. I'm going to go ahead and add a little more ink to each one of the flowers just to refresh that, that color. Alright, there's my finished background. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a doily details die cut that I cut from vintage cream cardstock and I'm going to stamp the flowers onto that as well. And 
And now I'm going to take the frame from Tag It's 5 as well, and I'm going to stamp it with some Spring Rain ink. And now I have a little sentiment, also again from Tag It's 5, and I'm using some Pure Poppy ink, and I'm just going to stamp that right onto my tag. And that's all for the stamping. Now we just have to assemble our card. Here's our background that we stamped with the flowers and our finished tag. So first of all, I'm going to adhere a little eyelet lace border die cut that I had die cut from Pure Poppy cardstock. I'm going to put a piece of double-sided tape right along the bottom edge of my stamped cardstock. I'm going to adhere that border right to the back side of my stamped block. I'm just adhering it so that the bottom edge will be visible from the front side. There we go, we can add a little adhesive to that. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere it to a 4x4 um, cardstock base. This is made from Harvest Gold cardstock. Now I have a little piece, a one and a half by three and three quarter inch piece of Spring Rain Bitty Dot pattern paper that I'm going to tuck under there and adhere to the bottom. And then we can go ahead and add our doily. I'm going to pop that up with some pop dots. Just put a couple of those on the back side and peel off that double sided liner and go ahead and adhere that to the front of our card. And there we have it. That's all there is to today's project. Thank you for joining me for this week's Make It Monday. I hope you enjoyed today's technique for multicolored stamping. I can't wait to see your take on the challenge. This has been Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Inc.